of Kansas school funding is now in the hands of the state Supreme Court. Today, justices listened to oral arguments as to whether the state is spending enough money on public education. And as 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains, today's hearing could impact how much money your child's school receives. Inside the courtroom, many of the justices appeared skeptical, constantly interrupting the state with questions and concerns. This just looks like deja vu all over again. It's a familiar scene once again playing out in the state the, Supreme Court. And it's taken two and a half years for the legislature to act on those standards. Kansas defending its school funding formula. But this time, its lawyers arguing a new plan to add $488 million over the next two years is vastly improved and better targets students falling behind. We just need time to figure out how student performance increases given the hundreds of millions of new dollars. But districts like KCK say they don't have time. If you give a head start to some districts, uh, the other districts don't catch up. And the math doesn't add up. Our costs are up, our expectations for our kids are up, and so if we had the resources that we know we need, we could do remarkable things. They want the state to increase funding by $893 million, a recommendation from the State Board of Education. Money lawmakers begrudge the state cannot afford. Without uh, reducing Medicaid and capers, there is no extra money. While the justices deliberate, the formula will go into effect so schools start on time. In Speaker, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.